So I think this is the first ride and mower that I've worked on inside the trailer. I need to let that down so I can have some space. Um, I have air conditioning in here now. It takes a while to kick on while well, you have come to temperature, so I'm still sweating pretty bad. But this is a Murray Rider from about 2000. And it has a couple little issues. Um, one of which is with the steering, which I hopefully have all the parts I need now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the hood to make things a little easier to film. Oh crap, this is one of the ones where you... Okay, so I'm probably not going to remove the hood. It's, I mean, it's only two bolts, but it's really not in my way at all. So... I'm trying to think of the best way to explain to you what's going on with this. I'm going to have to remove the gas tank and a couple other things. I need to get a Phillips screwdriver. Um, I, this is a machine that I quoted the customer the repairs on and they said, you know what, I've owned the machine for 20 years. Uh, do you just want it? Okay, yeah. No problem, I'll take it. So, so let me uh, go. Let me come up with a good way to explain to you what's going on with this machine. So in the spirit of Jason Fenske, if you don't know him, look up the channel, uh, Engineer and Explained. Um, I installed a whiteboard. So what we have is coming off the steering shaft is a gear I don't know how many teeth are actually on the real gear, but gear, and what that connects to is another steering gear that also has teeth on it. So one of these two is missing teeth off of it so when you go to turn the wheel it just skips and you know that's not a safe that's not safe for operation it all it kind of works a lot like your uh, car's rack and pinion steering. So if we're on a car, you basically have a rack like this that has a whole bunch of a uh, bunch of that, and then you got your teeth on that. Same principle, except for this is on the horseshoe shape. So let me get some of the stuff I got to get out of the way, out of the way, and I may come back and film some of this in the progress. Alright, so I took the gas tank out. I had to split this part to do that. Turns out I'm going to have to raise the machine. I'm really hoping I don't have to remove the deck to do this job because I don't really have the space where I'm at right now. I would actually have to take this outside. Uh, another thing that this machine needs desperately is a carburetor clean. Although smelling the gas, I'm not so sure that it just puts the fresh gas and it won't clear it up. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and set up my Mojack and get this thing uh, lifted up in the air. Alright, so I don't think it's even going to be remotely possible to show you what I've got going on here. Right here is the gear, and it is missing half of the teeth. I don't really have a good light to get up in there. Um, I'm hoping that this camera will be able to see that at least somewhat. Uh, looks like I am going to have to drop the deck, which sucks. I might be able to get away with just dropping the front section and letting it hang. Oh, 
because uh, there really is no room. And I don't think I can get that whole plate out without doing that. It's just going to be a pretty rough job. Uh, unfortunately, it's an $8 part, you know, it's not not an expensive part, but you got to, but the labor, the labor is what's going to kill you on it, which is why he got such a high bill. But uh, let me get working and let me show, once I get where I'm at, I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, I'm doing my best to get you as good of a view as I can. And as, as well as get myself as good of a view as I can. I'm laying here underneath this tractor and uh, one of the problems I'm having is the snap ring. There's holes in the snap ring plier or a snap ring and None of the adapters I have for my snap ring pliers are small enough to fit in, in the holes. Actually, these ones might possibly work. Um, I'm probably going to end up taking a pick and a uh, taking a, like two picks and a screwdriver. Trying to uh, do this, but man, like none of these, because I, I have like two options I can do. I can do uh, I can either grind down the tips on my snap ring pliers, which is probably not going to work well because I don't really have the best tools to do that here. Or I could just work to get it out with two picks and a screwdriver. Which it keeps turning on me, which is to me a good sign that it's going to come out. Um, I have at the forts. Okay, so these these ones may actually work, but I got to get. Um, if you remember right, well, I think last time we let up, we we were here. Uh, I had just gotten the uh, deck pulled down because the other thing I can do but then I'm going to need to go to a hardware store is uh I can grind, I could uh, cut the, the snap ring, but I don't think I can, I don't think that's going to be my best option. This is just not, there's a reason why when I looked this up it was a several hour job and the customer said no thanks. And uh, if I, I feel like if I to get this a little higher and not have a wheel in my way, I would be, I'd be just about golden. And I'm left handed so, you know, there's that. I might have to, I don't think having my left arm in a bind is going to be my best bet. I might have to move you guys and just keep up, keep messing with this and I'll be right back. 
All right, so I got that snap ring off. Um, I ended up buying this Icon uh, set from Harbor Freight. That didn't work either. I ended up doing the two pick and a screwdriver thing. It, and it went flying, so I have no idea where it's at right now. But uh, I have the gear off. So you can see what it... I have no idea what could have happened to this. There's no other damage to the front of it. Like, you know, there's no other damage to the, uh, to the uh, actual steering plate, the steering mechanism. There's no damage to anything else in the steering system. I just don't know. And um, honestly, I'm kind of perplexed. So but anyway, I have the new gear. So that's actually going to go up into the thing. I need to find the snap ring. <laughs> or I need to find, I think I have a kit that has snap rings. But, uh, yeah, so, um, this mower, like I said, I got to get the snap ring. Um, right, right now what I have is I have a bungee cord set up from the center of the steering wheel, because the, the way the spokes are on the steering wheel to the back because I need to make sure the steering wheel is perfectly straight. These wheels are straight on the uh, on the lift. So I need to find the snap ring and I'll show you a solution that I think will work and uh, I'll come back to you guys in a minute. Alright, so getting that back on there proved to be a female dog if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> But what's going to be even worse is getting this deck back on. Uh, and then I also still have to do a carburetor clean on it because it did have a carburetor issue. But that is where this video is going to end. So I want to thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.